Well, hey there, boys and girls, and welcome to another episode of Lutherville. Well, this one is a follow-up to a video I made about two years ago where I did a review of the flatbed for my Ram 5500. Now, I have to say that this Naphide flatbed uh, has really performed exceptionally well. I've been really happy with it. In fact, this is probably going to be one of the shortest videos I've ever made because <laughs> there's really, there's not a whole lot to say about something like a flatbed when everything is working really well, right? It does exactly what I was hoping that it would do. Now, when I made that first video, I hadn't actually towed anything with the flatbed yet. And since then, I have towed my tiny house, which is built on a commercial flatbed trailer, and it weighs around 20,000 pounds. Now, <laughs> one thing that made me extremely nervous uh, after I got the tiny house home, I drove from, from California to Tennessee to pick up the tiny house, and then I attached it to the truck and drove it back to California. So it wasn't until I got to California that I was able to weigh everything. Turns out that all of my planning and all of my strategizing about weights and distribution and all that sort of stuff, uh, it worked out pretty well. <laughs> but there is one big mistake that I made, and that is I had no idea just how heavy the tongue weight of the tiny house was going to be. It turns out that although the Naphide flatbed is designed to be able to tow 25,000 pounds, and my truck can tow 30,000 pounds, and the tiny house is only 20,000 pounds, so it is well below all these weight limits on the truck and on the flatbed, the tongue weight is actually too high. The tongue weight that the Naphide is supposed to be able to pull is around 5,000 pounds. Turns out that my tongue weight is around 6,000. So I'm about 1,000 pounds overweight. Now, if I had known that <laughs> before I left Tennessee, I probably would have been a lot more freaked out driving the 2,000 miles back to California. But I haven't had any problems. I mean, there's no sign of the welds cracking. I didn't have any kind of issues with anything, even though I was about a thousand pounds overweight on the hitch. So, you know, I have thought about maybe going to like a welder or something and, and trying to put some extra reinforcement in there because, I mean, I can't, <laughs> I can't lower the weight of the house in the trailer. So all I can really do is try to reinforce the nap hide. But like I said, it's never caused me any problems. So hopefully things will be okay. Um, the other thing that I should mention, that was a negative thing that turned into a very positive thing. When this flatbed was attached to the truck, all the wiring <laughs> was perfectly fine, except for the trailer brake controller. So it turns out that once I actually hooked up the trailer, plugged in the wire, all the lights and everything were working, like the brake lights worked just fine and stuff like that, but the brakes weren't functioning and the trailer brake controller inside the truck couldn't see my trailer. So there I was <laughs> in Tennessee needing to bring this thing home and I had no brakes on my 20,000 pound trailer. So I had to take my truck to a Dodge dealership. I spent six hours waiting there as they fixed it and got underneath and redid the wiring harness so that the trailer brake controller would actually work. So when I got home, I sent a long email to Naphide and explained the whole situation and I sent them a copy of the receipt and basically said, hey, you know, you guys need to reimburse me for the $400 I spent to get this thing rewired. 
And Naphide, their customer service was absolutely awesome. They didn't give me a hard time. They didn't give me any kind of runaround. I sent them all the information and everything is still under warranty, obviously. And Naphide was like, okay, fine. They're like, no problem. And within like one or two weeks, they sent me the $400 check to reimburse me for the faulty wiring. And that was awesome. I was so impressed uh, with Naphide's customer service and with the fact that they so quickly resolved the problem. Like I said, they didn't give me a hard time and they just took care of it. So that was, that was very cool. And that really kind of made me uh, have a whole another level of respect for Naphide. So the craftsmanship that they have put together is great. I haven't had any problems with anything. All the lights still work and nothing has cracked or broken. As I said, I had a thousand pounds of extra weight on the hitch, a thousand pounds over what the limit should be. And I still have not encountered any problems or any issues whatsoever. So after this two years and, and this follow-up video, I can definitely say that I highly recommend Naphide because uh, this thing simply has not let me down. So thank you so much for watching. And as always, if your ambitions do not scare you, they are not big enough.